Hey folks, welcome back to the Terror Dome. It's getting very cold on this ship. That's because we need solar power to recharge, and the longer we're on this planet, the less power I have. So, this isn't good. This isn't good. That's why I'm making thermoses of drink and try to keep warm around that and drink it and stay hydrated. And eating food that doesn't require power to make. Like cold old carrots. <laughs> And I can't watch anything, so I'm going through old junk mail to entertain myself in the meantime while I think of a plan to get off this planet. So let's uh, look at what this person has to say. They say, why is the gymnastic scene in the Lost World Jurassic Park so bad? That's it. That's, that's, that's all they've asked. Why is that scene bad? Well, I can answer that. Most people seem to think that scene is bad because it's ridiculous that a teenage girl kicks a raptor out of the window. Um, I agree with that partly, and for years in the past I remember talking about how that scene used to be the number one thing in the Lost World that I didn't like. Um, because I didn't like the idea of this girl kicking a raptor out of a window after doing all these stupid gymnastics. and. Uh, but really, when you, when you think about it in the logic of the Jurassic Park universe, it's not that crazy. I mean, we've got Camp Cretaceous now to think about. Not, no, I don't consider that canon, but that does that has weather coming out of screens. Think about that. That has weather, like snow, rain, sun, all that stuff comes out of screens. That's stupid. But the girl kicking a raptor out of the window pales in comparison to that kind of stupid stupidity. However, what makes, what I think, makes the raptor gymnastic scene bad in The Lost World Jurassic Park from 1997, directed by Steven Spielberg, edited by Michael Kahn, A.C.E., is the editing. I think it's poorly edited. Now, it's one of those things, that I've, I don't think I've ever heard anyone else on the internet talk about this, um, so I'll just quickly lay it out for you here. That scene is a product of bad editing. Um, so when people watch it, they, that scene sticks out not so much because of exactly what Kelly's doing, it's the way they presented it. So Kelly gets into position, you know, and she starts doing her gymnastics before the raptor has even jumped up and got to the level to, you know, where the character Ian Malcolm is, her dad, and basically it's like she's predicting the future <laughs> it's like she's predicting where that raptor is going to be so she starts doing all these stupid spins around the pole and then she goes hey you and kicks the raptor out the window but if you think about it watching the scene back what was her plan the raptor was still on the ground so she starts spinning and doing gymnastics which means she can't exactly see where the raptor is while she's spinning around so what was her plan how what was going to happen was she suicidal was she I don't know. Stupid to think about. Hey, you! But what it really boils down to is, yeah, just the editing. So I will re-edit that scene for you and I'll present it to you now so you guys can watch it. If it was edited in this way, I think that no one would have really batted an eyelid about this sequence too much because it's, it, it, yeah. Uh, you, you'll see, you'll see.
school cut you from the team? Yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. And um, and if there's any other stupid moments in the Jurassic Park franchise that you want me to discuss, uh, please let me know. And uh, rate, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, eat an apple, eat an old carrot like this. Um, become a member of the crew. Um, do the Fandango. Um... And I'll catch you next time, guys.